What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to The Last Universe is Mini for a while. If you saw the update video, I'm going to be taking a break from versus content in general, but I figured I'd give you this one last thing, since it was a highly requested topic. And also to at least give you something to watch while I'm busy coming up with other content. So today we're going to be talking about NLFs and why they're bad and make zero sense. Basically, a No Limits Fallacy. That's what NLF stands for. And there are several kinds of these. The No Limits Fallacy in general, the Name Fallacy, there's Hacks, and Battlefield Removal, all that different kind of stuff. Let's start with the easy one, Name Fallacies. Now, these fallacies come when people take a name of someone or something a bit too seriously. Like the big one, One Punch Man. Because of this, people think Saitama can defeat any opponent with a single punch, despite the fact that we've seen otherwise. The way he defeats opponents is due to the power he's pushing out, not his name. In fact, that's not even his name. That's the name of the series. Yeah, the manga and anime are called One Punch Man, but in the actual series, he goes by Saitama or Caped Baldy. So yeah, name fallacies make no sense. I mean, what about Mega Man? He should be several times larger than a normal man because he's Mega Man. But no, he's just a normal-sized robot boy. Now let's move on to regular No Limits fallacies. You know, like, Super Sonic is totally invulnerable, or Ganondorf can only be killed by sacred weapons. Both of which we've seen contradicted multiple times as Super Sonic has been hurt a lot, and Ganondorf has been killed by regular weapons before. But even if those things were true, just think about it. It makes no sense. Ganondorf is country level at best, so are you telling me that someone, I don't know, like Kirby, who can push back Universal Swallow waves couldn't defeat him because Kirby isn't divine? Or Supersonic, who is planet level at the very best, couldn't be hurt by Beerus, a universal deity who can destroy half a planet just by tapping it. Because Supersonic is completely invulnerable. So as you can see, regular No Limits fallacies also make no sense, and more often than not, they get contradicted anyways, like I mentioned earlier with Supersonic getting hurt and Ganondorf being killed by regular stuff. Next up is the one-hit kill. You know, like Beerus's Hakai, Poe's Wishy Fingerhold, Akuma's Raging Demon. And these are pretty much self-explanatory. They shouldn't be able to work on people who are absurdly stronger. I mean, we've seen Poe's Wishy Fingerhold fail on Kai, who was insanely more powerful until Poe became a spirit warrior too. And Wrath of the Raging Demon, the strongest version of Akuma's Raging Demon attack, didn't kill Heihachi, despite the fact that it's supposed to destroy the victim's soul. So yeah, it wouldn't make sense for one-hit kills to work on people at a much higher level. I mean, could you imagine if Poe's Wishy Fingerhold worked on Superman? Exactly. Now on to the fallacy that I think actually does work. Which I guess kind of contradicts the definition of fallacy, so I guess let's just call it hacks. Anyways, it's called BFR, which stands for Battlefield Removal. Now basically what this is is the ability to just alter the terrain or flat out remove it entirely. Or even remove your opponent from it. Let's take Spike from Ape Escape. One of his weapons which he uses to catch monkeys is called the Time Net. Basically what it does is when Spike catches a monkey in this net, it automatically transports them to his professor's time station, aka remove them from the battlefield. And we've seen this work on humans before, as the monkeys can actually steal this net and use it on Spike. I mean, it's not a one-hit kill or anything that relies on damage, so the opponent's strength really wouldn't matter. Just teleport him away. Now let's think about actually removing the battlefield. In one corner of a platform, we have Entropy from Crash Bandicoot. He's about building level at best, and in another corner we have Donkey Kong, who's country level. However, Entropy has the power to make the battlefield just disappear. So as soon as the fight starts, Entropy just blinks away Donkey Kong's part of the platform, and there he goes, falling for eternity into the Endless Void at which they were fighting. Entropy, a building level character, just defeated Donkey Kong, a country level character, thanks to battlefield removal. I mean, he was using these hacks on the battlefield, not Donkey Kong himself, so Donkey Kong's massive lead in power didn't really matter. So hopefully this video cleared up some No Limits Fallacies issues and interested you in an underrated power, battlefield removal. See you next time.